Hello dear children, welcome to our class. Today we are studying EVS chapter 19, A Seed Tells a Farmer's Story. This chapter narrates the story of a Bajra seed. Before starting this chapter, I will explain about one of the important crop that is rice. Children, do you know about the cultivation of rice or paddy? In Hindi, rice is named as chawal. In Malayalam, it is named as ari. It is a cereal grain crop. Rice is considered as the source of carbohydrates and supplies energy to body through diet. Rice is obtained from paddy grains after many processing steps. Here is the journey of a rice seed from a field to a plate. There are several steps for cultivating rice. First step is preparation of soil. Second step is the sowing. Sowing the seeds. In the case of rice, after sowing, transplant the seedlings in the field at a proper distance to avoid overcrowding. This allows plants to get sufficient sunlight, nutrients and water from the soil. Next step is adding manure or fertilizers to get better yield of crops. All living beings need water to live. Water is important for proper growth and development of crops. So next step is irrigation. In a field, many other unwanted plants may grow along with the crop. These unwanted plants are called weeds. The removal of weeds is called weeding. Weeding is necessary since weeds compete with the crop plants for water, nutrients, space and light. Harvesting is the cutting of the mature crops manually or by machines. In harvesting, crops are cut close to the ground. Here, harvesting is done manually by using sickle. Separation of the grains from the chaff is called threshing. This is carried out with the help of a machine called combine. This machine is named as combine. Proper storage of grains is necessary to protect them from pests and microorganisms. Before storing them, the grains are properly dried in the sun to reduce the moisture in them. Once the threshing is over, the paddy has to undergo many processes to become edible rice. In paddy, edible part is enclosed in a tough covering that is husk. The process of removing the husk is referred as dehusking. Many machines are available for this work. These are edible rice which we will boil to make eatable form. Rice flour is also prepared from rice. Rice flour is used for making different types of delicious food items. Children, hope all of you understood well the journey of rice from a field to a plate. Let's start the chapter. Children, I have already told you this lesson is about a Bajra seed. The story of a Bajra seed. I am a small seed. I am a small Bajra seed. I have stayed in this beautiful wooden box since 1940. I want to tell you my story. This is a long story, but not mine alone. 
it is also the story of my farmer damji bai and his family if i don't tell my story now it might be too late here bajra seed told its story i was born in wangam in gujarat that year there was a good bajra bajra that is a millet bajra crop there was a festive mood in the village our area was famous for its grain and vegetables each year damji bai kept aside some seeds from a good crop this way our bajra family went on from one generation to another good seeds were stored in dry gourd which was coated with mud but that year damji bai himself made a strong wooden box to store us he put in neem leaves to protect us from insects students do you know the importance of neem leaves seeds are protected from insects by putting neem leaves after harvesting farmers keep some good quality seeds in wooden boxes for next season's cultivation he put different seeds in different compartments of the box that was our beautiful home in those days damji bai and his cousins lived together it was a large family everyone in the village helped each other even in farming when the crop was ready and harvested everyone celebrated together oh those wonderful days with big feast and lots to eat in the winter it would be time to enjoy the undia undia is a kind of stew all the vegetables were put into a clay pot along with the fresh spices the pot was sealed and kept between hot coals the vegetables cooked slowly in this special cooker on the field oh i forgot the pot was placed upside down that is why the dish was called undia or upside down in gujarati undia in gujarati means upside down undia would be eaten with bajra rotis freshly cooked on the chula chula means fire oh what an earthy delicious flavor along with that homemade butter curd and a buttermilk was served farmers would grow many different kinds of crops grains and vegetables according to the season the farmers kept enough for their needs and sold the rest to shopkeepers from the city some farmers also grew cotton at home family members spun cotton on charka charka there is a spinning wheel to make cloth find out and write in your house what is done to protect grains and pulses from insects in my house the grains and pulses are kept in airtight containers to protect them against insects which are the different festivals related to farming celebrated in different seasons the different festivals related to farming that are celebrated in the different seasons are holi baisakhi onam etc children have you heard about the harvest festivals after 3 or 4 months of hard work in the field there comes the day of the harvest the sight of golden fields of standing crop laden with grain fills the hearts of farmers with joy and a sense of well-being the efforts of the past season have borne fruit and it is time to relax and enjoy a little the period of harvest is thus of great joy and happiness in all parts of india men and women celebrate it with great enthusiasm special festivals associated with the harvest seasons are pongal baisakhi holi diwali onam etc can you identify these grains yes i can identify these grains these are corn seed mustard seed wheat grains bajra grains when times changed over the years many changes took place in the village some places could get water from the canal they said the canal brought water from far away where a dam had been built on a big river then electricity came 
switch on the button and there was light. People found that only one or two crops like wheat and cotton got better prices in the market. So most farmers began to grow only these. Soon we, old friends Bajra and Jover and also vegetables were forgotten and dismissed even from Damji Bai's field. Farmers even began to buy seeds from the market. People said they were new kinds of seeds. So farmers did not need to store seeds from the old crop. Now people in the village cooked and ate together only on very special days. As they ate, they would remember how tasty the food used to be in the past, fresh from the fields. When the seeds have changed, how could food ever taste the same? Damji Bai was getting old. His son Hasmuk looked after the fields and the family. Hasmuk was making a lot of money from farming. He rebuilt the old house. He brought new machines for farming. He used an electric motor to pump water. He bought a motorcycle to go to the city easily and also a tractor to plow the field. The tractor could do in a day what the bullocks would take many days to do. Hasmuk would say, Now we are farming wisely. We grow only what we can sell in the market at a good price. With the profits from our fields, we can improve our field. We can make progress. Lying forgotten in the wooden box, I and the other seeds had our doubts. Is all this really progress? There is no longer any need for seeds like us and animals like the bullocks. After the tractor has come, even people who worked on the fields are no longer needed. How will they earn money? What will they live on? The Bajra seed saw difference in the way Damji Bai and Hasmuk, his son, did farming. What are these differences? Damji Bai followed the traditional methods of farming. He used bullocks to plough the field. He stored grains to be used as seeds. Hasmuk, on the other hand, started using new methods of farming. He bought a tractor to plough the field. He need not store grains to be used as seeds because he could buy seeds from the market. Hasmuk said, with profits from our fields, we can progress. What is your understanding of progress? By progress, we understand a better and improved standard of living. What kind of progress would you like to see in your area? I would like to see the following type of progress in our area. Good schools, better transportation and communication facilities, big hospitals, good places for entertainment, etc. Children, I am winding up today's class. Before going, let me say one thing. Please subscribe and share my video. We will meet in the next video. Thank you and have a nice day.